Okay, I think we should be live now. Ah, uh, hello there, hello and welcome back everybody. Yes, there we go, we should be live now. There we go. Uh, this is back with Pokemon Y2 playthrough for everything. There we go. So, last time, we defeated the Bug-type Gym Leader, acquired our... There we go. Sorry, the buttons took a little bit to go. Uh, let's go over the team recap. Alright, so team recap right now. We have Chimchar, Draconic the Chimchar. We've got Sly Guy the Frogadier. And Ember Z the uh, Pancham. Alright. Arm thrones. Okay, good options. Hello, Temper. Uh, I, I have an idea for who the next two members of the team are going to be. Uh, last member of the team, I have no clue. Uh, the next one is Yuzi Cyber Town. Without even visiting the ship of the vessel, you're missing the half the life, maybe. Even a quarter. Overblowing it a little bit, but you're one percent. Probably overblowing it. One percent. You're gonna at least go one percent. Um, is, is this the castle place? Yeah, this is like the one... This is like the one part of the game I don't remember. Hello there, Ominous Blorb. Every day, happy at the moment, but if you have a happy day, no, that's at least good. At least that's good. You think this is the one part of the game I, I entirely forget what you have to do? Ah, yes, the Mega Evolutions. Mega Evolutions sorted stuff and things. Hello there. Uh, nothing you can do about that one now. You already go to Route 7, stuff and things. Right, this is where they, they force you. You have to go to this place, so that way you can go and get the exposition dump. And now we can go through the place. And the stuff. With the things. And continue out with the story. Yeah, we gotta go this way. We gotta go to Route 7. Oh, do we have to fight Shauna now or no? Do we, do we clown on Shauna? I mean, I'm, I, Shauna's like one of the only few characters I like in this game. Other than, of course, Alexa. But, do we clown on Shauna or no? Found $20. I lost and I'm going to rest. That's all this good. You found $20. Mudkip, hello there. Are we going this way? Right. Okay, this is dumb. They make you need to go this way despite- Oh, you can't go this way! We are going to block you! Snorlax. Hello there, E. Is that a Slitherwing PFB? Nice. We like Slitherwing here. Ah, uh, but yes, no, we are playing more of our Y playthrough today. Ah, uh, it's gonna be good. How do you do? Yeah, hopefully it goes well. Because I know what the next... Oh, yeah, Par from Palace, that's the place. So I know who the next members of the team are going to be. I've got the next two members of the plan. Didn't grind Hades, because I'm monkey videos. Why did you see the thing I sent you? Not really, Mudkip. Um, I actually have not basically checked DMs. I was watching a lot of Resident Evil things prior to starting stream up. So, because... I, I am doing a little bit of research on Res E because it is a game I will eventually be playing, much like when I play... Oh, good! We can destroy Pikachu immediately. Always fun to destroy Pikachu. Pikachu, meet better Gen 1 Pokemon, a.k.a. Chimchar. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, we did a team recap. It is Frogadier Chim... Uh, Brogadier, Charmander, and Pancham is the present lineup. You look like you eat rocks. I do eat rocks. Technically, we all eat rocks. Because it goes into all of the food. We technically all eat rocks. Oh, Dragon Rage. That's actually kind of broken. Uh, yes, please. That's actually very good. Growl is entirely useless as a move. Let's get rid of that. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, let me know if the game audio needs to be increased a little bit so you guys can hear it, because I don't actually know what the, uh, the game's audio balancing is presently. Tagly Salt is not a rock. That is a mineral. That is a mineral. That's technically a little bit different. Draconic Ridge. Mold breaker, it breaks the mold. A nice patch up involves a lot of going through the dark. Yep. That's the that's the entire reason I'm actually using it on the team. 
is because I'm using a Greninja. So that way it will get, you know, the dark type. Okay, Mario is great. Okay, good. Give me check DMs. Oh, I'm scared of Muddy Kip. I don't I don't know if I want to check DMs. Okay, good. Flap, flap, flap. Oh my gosh, this does no damage. Arm thrust. Stop being so potato. We have to rely on the boomer. We must rely on the boomer. Playing Balloons Tower Defense 6 right now. Did you say something after the Cloud Sire? I I sent the, the Cloud Sire gif in response to the PC, Muddy Cap. I have already seen the PC. I have already seen it. It is impressive. I like the purple. Black. I don't care, Mr. Jolly to degree. I just want to be happy about the fact that putting leaves in the lava makes me awake. I'm sorry, what? Um What? I I have I have several questions, Blarb. I have several 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 questions. Yes, you did, Mudkip. You did indeed. And again, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more. Ah, uh, there we go. That's the layout. There we go. Um, arm. No, because you can take me down. Go Draconic. Yeah, you're going to be evolving soon. What level? What level is Charm? I think Charmander evolves at level 16. If I'm not incorrect. I think. Right now, Dragon Rage is just my strongest move because it will one-shot basically everything. Hello there, Mr. Eduardo. I, I have no rocks around me right now. I, I don't have any rocks presently within my vicinity. Level 17, okay. I want to put rock into my fried... Oh, there you go. There's Charmander evolving. All right, so we are now mostly... Ah, oh, yes. We are very big fans of Godzilla, E. We are very, very big Godzilla fans. The funny thing is, I'm actually working on a Godzilla video right now. So, when I end off tonight, I'm going to get back to working on it and finishing recording it. And then, today, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly sometime on Thursday, because I want to get it out by Wednesday... Um, it will be in the process of being finished. I already sent you a Vsauce shirt a few months ago. Short. Vsauce short. Yes, possibly. You know, I mean, I, I love Godzilla. Literally my favorite series. Even though the channel is like all Pokemon stuff, um, I prefer Godzilla. Like, if there is one series that I like more, is it is, it is Godzilla. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of Godzilla Mega video took a, a, is taking a lot of time to actually, like, finish working on. Okay, fine, that's fine. Use Tail Whip on me. That does nothing. And then we just hit you with Arm Thrust, and then... I... Oh my gosh. Pa what, Pancham? What the freak is your attack stat? What the freak is Pancham's attack stat? Because this thing is just hitting like, with the strength of a wet noodle. Pancham. What the freak is your stat? Pancham, Pokemon database. So much more quick to use than Bulbapedia. Pancham. You have an 82 physical attack stat right now. Why are you doing that little damage? That is an actually like semi-competent attack stat right now, Pancham. No, it's not negative attack nature. Is that just how weak arm thrust is? I thought, I mean, is that just how pathetically weak arm thrust as a, as a move is? Is it a 50, is it 15 or 25? 15, okay. I guess that kind of makes sense, the 15 base power move. I guess, I guess that sort of kind of makes sense. 
Also, yes, this is Y version, so we have Mega Charizard Y. Oh, wait, right, you're a fairy type. I forgot about that. Uh, agility? Oh, double team. Sorry, I, I, I heavily blank on Pokemon, what they have for moves, because, like, I've never used a member of the Gardevoir family. Maybe the other one is high defense. Not really. It's a Zigzagoon. The other thing was a Zigzagoon. That, that Zigzagoon is not generally known for its bulkiness. Yeah, see, that's why it's better just to go for, like, Dragon Rage against literally everything until we get... Unless it's weak to fire, it's better just to go with Dragon Rage. Well, weak to weak to drag, weak to fire, or it's a fairy type. Just go with Dragon Rage. It just get it just it just deletes literally everything in existence right now. But uh, in other news, so how's everyone been doing lately? In most cases, you should sneeze on a zigzagoon and end it. Like high defense, EV is it is. Oh no, NPCs don't have defensive effort. The NPCs don't have effort values. Yeah, NPCs just simply do not have defensive, uh, don't have effort values. Unless you're playing Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or BDSP, where they do have that. Okay, this is one thing I do remember about this part of the game that is so absolutely stupid. You actually need to pay to advance in the game. So, theoretically... Theoretically, you could have bought, like, you could have used all of your money and bought, like, all the items you can. And not had the money and you couldn't beat this. Jim and Chillin' Jong, Ah, playing, playing Black and White, the superior Pokemon game. The best Pokemon game. Hello there, Jim, oh, Jim, John. Hello there, Giga Gamer, how are you doing? Uh, what is Metamaxis? Um, what is Metamaxis? Well, he's a smooth brain, is is who Metamaxis is. Hello there, Asian or Dammy, how are you doing? Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more. Uh, goals to hit 7k by the end of the year. Hopefully. Hopefully. Ah, oh, my low tech. Th this, there is one spot in this game that is the most representation Generation 5 got literally until the Indigo Disc happened. They're outside of Generation 5 proper. Like, the courtyard of this place is the most representation Generation 5 got. Yeah, this, this. Literally this place right here is the most representation Gen 5 got post-Gen 5 until the Indigo Disc. That was a decade of Gen 5 being cast into the void officially by Pokemon Company. They officially cast Gen 5 into the void. Ah, yes. This part. Ah, this part. I hate this part. This, this is absolutely stupid. We got a corner of the doge. Yeah, you. Over there. Over there. Let me know when you want to decide to go. Yeah, you. You. Stay right here. Yes. This part. This part literally stumped me for hours. I hate this part. Oh wait, right, you have to get her to... You. Yeah, I, I hate this. This part takes me so long to do every time. You, stay here. Good. Okay, now we corner it. See, now it won't come this way, it'll run. Okay. Good. Close to cornering it. Yes, better way to there. Uh, you. Shauna, follow me. You. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Shauna, stay here. Yes, stay here, Shauna. And now, 
We go over here. And now it is cornered. Th this part took me an hour the first time I played this game. It took me an hour to figure out how to do this. It, it, it should not have taken me that long. There we go, we did it. Yeah, that is literally all that you need to do in this entire part of the game. Yeah. Again, this is why I, I kind of like Shauna, because she actually helps with the most annoying part of the game. There we go. Rendezvous? The maze. It's perfectly would have been better if we had found it. I hate to have a train like that. Lily's fireworks. Young me, shout out to your or two, not gonna lie. I can feel the pain doing this new puzzle again. I hate this puzzle. I absolutely detest it. Again, I, my, my disdain. You can feel the vehement disdain. Do you even need HM cut in this game? Do you even need it? Because, I mean, I mean, again, it, it, the game is already inferior to Generation 5, because Generation 5 does not require you to use any HMs beyond a singular use of them at the start of the game. After that, you never need to use HMs again. Yeah, in black and white, every usage of an HM beyond the singular usage of Cut in the Dream Yard is entirely personal exploration, which is how it should be. But in, in in this game, you do actually need to use a number of uh, of, of HMs. Gord Speck. Retro statue, Gen 5 remakes confirmed. Yes, exactly, Mr. Timothy B. Can one of the mods go grab Mr. Timmy B's link, please? How do you do, Timmy? I'm going to do some BT Balloon Style Defense 6 because I will blah blah next time. Dodge button does not work properly. Okay. Where the, where the freak is the HM cut? Super portion. Okay, it's a, it's a potion that does super things, okay. Where, where do you get HM cut? Did someone give it to you? Folks with Gatsby's cut up with arms. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's... Oh, wait. I'm blind. Okay, to be fair, the screen is very small that I'm playing this on because this is an emulator. There are very few Pokemon games I'm okay with using an emulator for. Gen 6 is one of them, because I don't really care for Gen 6, Gen 6. Despite actually having just acquired the final game of my Generation 6 collection. As well as I actually did get my Pokemon X version a few days ago. Alright, so I... Oh wait, no, we have to go to the top thing. Yeah, now we gotta go to the top thing, and then we can go get the Poke Flute. Timmy, I... These glasses aren't just for show. I don't wear the glasses because they make me look smart. I wear the glasses because my eyesight is garbage. Like, I, I I need my glasses. I literally can't see. But yes, um, it is literally right in front of my face. Uh, ah, there it is. There's the... Okay, I don't know why they did these weird camera angles. Hello, Shauna. Hello. She's just tiny. Shauna is just short. Um, you know, I never watched Fireworks alone with a boy before. Okay. Okay. You're you're not you're not wrong on that temper. You're 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 entirely correct on that. I am blind. I feel that I miss things too. I'm frequently oblivious. I wish you could skip this part. Ooh, we are showing off the graphical power of the 3DS. In a cutscene that just wastes time. Just like Lumio City. I'll never forget this. I'll keep this memory in my heart. A wonderful fireworks is fair through. I'm you. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot. The Poke Flute. 
The literal reason we came here. The whole reason we went through this fracas. A rich guy like me and a common person like that don't go together. <laughs> you deserve a knuckle sandwich to the dome, buddy. You you deserve a right proper knuckle sandwich to the dome. Poke flute acquired. We can now go beat the crap out of a Snorlax. Let's go. Lots of memories to make on this journey. Forgot about him. I can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler. Do you anything about a mega evolution? Okay. Th that's the thing about this game. This entire game's story is, do you know about mega evolution? Hmm. No, I don't. Move on to the next person. It's literally the entire game just going in circles on that. It's the same thing happened with the anime. It was just... Every four episodes, hey, here's a person who might know something about Mega Evolution. And then it's just, oh yeah, no, we don't know anything about Mega Evolution. Every time. When you get... Yeah. Again, these... these th this is one of the many reasons I feel the Generation 6 game comes off like bad fanfiction. Like, it... It... I don't know, the, the dialogue, the setup, the scenario, all feels very, like, 12-year-old Pokemon fan fanfiction. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But now we are done, we can progress the story, we can now go back on our roller skates, now that we are outside of the highly breakable mansion place. So now we don't need... It's, uh, it's this path, right? Yes, it's this path is the way to go. Now... We can go and we can do some stuff and things. And again, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, do we get... No, we did not get in any battles, so we can go on ahead. Alright, let's go beat a Snorlax. They could have fleshed out the story of the characters more. They got better in Generation 9. No, they got a lot better in Gen 9. When, when, even Generation 7, they got better. The problem with the, the the story in X and Y is there are so many characters. You have four rivals. And and it's, it's just weird. Like, even back in black and white, they showed they can do, you know, pretty well done characters, even with a, a large number of characters. But they just couldn't stick it with this game. Because even then, like, Trevor and Tierno are, like, entirely ancillary. They're, they're basically just, like, a doorknob. Like, they, they are the only two characters who are more of a doorknob than Ford Brody. And if anyone knows what I am referencing with that, you get a gold star. You're an actual legend. Nick. Nick. Dragon Braid. Bah. Again, that shows how much HP Snorlax has. It took three Dragon Rages to put that buddy down. Buddy is thick with at least seven Cs. Snorlax fled away towards the mountains. I wonder if he'll expand it or he was out. Oh, great old... Riffrow. Ah, yes, we have a thing. The only thing I can do with the Poké Flute is a display. It would be worried that you live so lonely. In my fur flute likes the sound of the flute. Would you like the beautiful for fireworks? Yes, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, dogs don't generally like fireworks, buddy. Doggos and fireworks don't really go together. Like, why, why, why did the dog, why? I don't know, again, there's, there's a lot of, like, little writings that just, it feels very, very weird. That, ah, whatever. Because, I mean, also stuff like this, like, this isn't just a, a one-for-one -one note shot of Gen 1 games. So, again, it's, it's just a bit weird. Less is more sometimes. I think that I'd rather have less characters and flesh out their stories. Exactly, Lollipop. Same way. Like, but even then, like, with the Generation 9 games, they, show, they can do a lot of characters and, and generally do them pretty well. I think a large part of it was... This is my personal, like, pet project theory about Gen 6 XY. They scrapped and rebuilt this game from the ground up, close to release. 
that after the very negative reception of Generation 5, you know, uh, by the community at first, they'd already sank like two to three years of development into the game, and they needed to like super go back and fix things, you know, fix in the, in the biggest glowing air quotes you can imaginably have. And that led to a number of changes that didn't really work out well. Because there is stuff in the game's file that is literally just unfinished. The, uh, the subway, like the train station, entirely unfinished. There is stuff in the game's files where there are gyms in different towns than where they are in the final game. Meaning, they really rebuilt things as the game went on. And that that's something that was pretty far along in development that they changed, like, pretty much last minute. Which kind of, you know, contributes to the overall rush job that some elements later on, you know, end up showing. Which, you know, which is, which is a little bit of a problem at times. Oh, so, uh, who, I mean, this is kind of tipping my hat... For, you know, the next member of the team-ish. Where the heck do you find Eevee? You know, I, I, I don't know where Eevee is. More meaningful dialogue. Yeah. I mean, they, they could have done a lot more for the game. Like... Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff in this game that would pretty much change. Out of it, because th this was one of the longest developments of a Pokemon game's life cycle. Like, black and white each one. Exactly. That that kind of exemplifies the difference between things. You look... I mean, I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if the game was torn down and rebuilt close to release, but there's a lot of stuff in the game that feels very unfinished. There's a lot of things in this game that is in the coding that went entirely unused, like, entirely different areas. And it's things like that that just make me think... Again, it, it, it's you juxtapose how well put together, how complete the Gen 5 games were, and these games, with just how relatively short the release span between them is. Route 10, okay. Uh, men here, trail, as well as normal type friend safari. I was going to say, if, you, if it was Route 19, I'm pretty sure that's a post-game. Okay, that, that at least makes sense. That at least makes a little bit of sense. Okay, brick brack. Arm thrust. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my god. You're so freaking weak, Pancham. You're barely doing damage to a smearkle. I mean, at the very least, Pangoro has a like a good stat line, so that's at least kind of helpful. Georgia. Oh, you're on an Iowa with bigger guns. I, I don't think anyone here is going to get that reference. Which, again, it's it's not fun when everyone gets the references. She needs better moves. Yeah, I mean, the issue is I don't think it actually learns many good moves, but I can actually go check. Oh my gosh, another thing with Smeargles. Let me go check what this thing's learn set actually is. Like, whether we're going to be getting decent moves on it anytime soon. Arm Thrust, Smeargle, Durga Ron Raid, Durga Ron Raid. You have a point. Makes sense to stop things was done. It feels like scrap them and release them in the scrambling place. Yeah. Like, it's... I don't know. There's a lot of things about the game that just... It feels... Very strange compared to like you're in black and white. Like black and white, very well put together. And even then, compared to Oras, which released relatively shortly after this, I think it was like a year later, you know, Oras isn't just 
a remake of Gen 3. It's a very heavily expanded remake of Gen 3. It was like, and they were working on that, and like, that feels complete. And then you compare that to, you know, again, to this game. Like, it, it's very strange. Just, you have these very high quality, very polished games. And then there's a downward spike, and then it spikes back up. It's very, very strange. Now, again, I have no proof of whether or not the game was torn down and rebuilt close to release. There's zero proof of that I have. But there's a lot of things that just look out of place. Um, Pan, Sham, Serebi, Gen 6. I need to see what your learn set is, because like I need to know when you're going to be learning moves. Yeah, again, it's just, it's... I mean, well, that, you know, the, the general lack of Megas for a lot of Generation 6 Pokemon just also feels a bit strange. Because we also know that the sequel game for X and Y was scrapped as well. Because there was going to be, um, like, X and Y 2 or Z version. There were internal uh, development documents that were actually released a couple of years ago that actually had X, Y 2 on them. So, there was supposed to be X and Y 2... And it just simply never materialized. And in large part, I think it was just the game was a little bit of a rush job. And they never really had time to go back and fix things. Because the post game in this game is one of the shallowest post games. Again, there's just a lot of like little things that you get in comparison to the literally the most expansive post game of any Pokemon game is black and white. And then again, you have this with just get very, very, very little. And it really was just kind of like unfortunate circumstances where there could have been a lot more to it. Oh yeah, I've never done anything here. Actually, well, okay, technically I have done stuff for the battle, battle maison or battle, battle chateau. You mean two of the four rivals here? Don't mean. Yeah, I, I think you fight Trevor twice. Yeah, I, I you fight Trevor and Tierno twice i'm pretty sure and this is one of them um i think you fight shauna like three times in the, uh, the entire game and i think one of them is even post game like it's very strange i don't know it's just it, again it's it it feels like they tried doing too much and they it's, it feels like they tried to do too much and ended up just not doing enough. I, I kind of like a weird paradoxical thing like that. Again, it was good ideas. It is not a good thing to eat gravel. Gravel is not a good food. Pan champ. Okay. Moves. Comet punch. Okay. So, we learned karate chop at level 12. So, we should actually have a decent move soon. Yeah. Slash, yeah, slash, circle throw, vital throw, body slam, crunch. Yeah, we have decent moves we'll be getting soon. So, we're, we're not a complete potato. We are not a complete potato. But this Pan Jam is indeed a potato. I have eaten gravel myself. It is not a good thing to do. Especially when I do this voice. Because this voice sounds and feels like I am gurgling gravel. It is not good. Trevor, two battles. Shana, three. Shana, two. Really? You only fight Shana twice? I thought it was... Really? Do you fight... Only twice? Huh. I thought it was more. I mean, yeah, I've, I've only played Kalos proper twice. And even then, one of them I literally just finished, like, two days ago. Vice Grip. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. I love Gravel. Oh, Flababy, that's what that is. Dang it, I can't Dragon Rage that thing's face. Fletchinder. Again, your your daily friendly reminder, Talonflame has a lower attack stat than Amoongus. I always feel the need to friendly reminder that. 
Yeah, 81 physical attack on Talonflame, 85 on Amoogus. God, I love Pokemon stat facts are fun and stupid like that. I love it. Oh, Chesla. Oh, I guess you got, okay, you got it evolved. Um, yeah, you're you're probably going to attack the, the thing. I'm going to go eat Gravel. These rivals don't really fight us a lot. Yeah. And then, you know, compare that to Hop. I think you fight Hop 13 times. Just don't chip your teeth when you're chewing gravel. I know Hop is the rival you fight the most in the series. Which I just find hilarious. Like The games agree Hop has the most punchable face of any rival. Hop is highly face punchable. Karate chop! Dang it, Ember wanted to get blood. Everyone. Yes, everyone fights on the bridge. I knew about the bridge fight. Because I know in Nuzlocks, that is like a Nuzlocke killer. When you just fight that gauntlet back to back to back. To back. Well, randomizers. Not really Nuzlocks, because like randomizers, if you add an extra Pokemon, they get more stuff. Do you heal me? Wow, you don't even heal me. Do you heal me? You don't you don't even heal me. What good are you? Oh, that's a lot. I don't even know how many times though. Even Marnie and BD fight us more than I why rivals. I can't just I don't do I just waddle. Interesting. Yeah, I'm I know at the very least is eleven times. I know, I know at the very least, you fight Hop 11 times. Including po 10? That was, that was 11. Interesting. Is that including Galarian Star Tournament? I wish we could get more. Is that, well, Galarian Star or his team in the tournament rematch. Because remember, when you fight him in the... Galarian... No, Galarian... Yeah, Galarian Star is the tag team. When you fight him in, like, the, the, the game's replacement of the Elite Four, I'm pretty sure he has an Azasi and a Rizama Zenta and everything, which is, is technically a different team. Could be wrong on that, though. I, I just remember because you had Hop as a punchable face. Which BD has more battles. Uh, I did not mean to walk in. Hey, Viola, where's your hot sister? Yes. Alexa's hotter. I will forever say that. Alexa is better. Where, where's your sister, Viola? Where is your sister? That, that's the one we really care about. Callum. I love Baron. The Baron Callum. The Baron Callum. No, not including Galarian Star Term Ornaments. Okay. Yeah, I would say the rematches kind of are a bit important because they are distinct different teams that you have to have for the fights. Galarian Star, I think, is a bit of a one that you can kind of leave out. But y technically, that is considered a rematch when you face him in the tournament. Bring Alexa, Viola. We're begging. Just, just, just bring Alexa. I mean, you can come too, but we, we, we prefer Alexa. I'm, I'm, I'm more than okay if you tag along, Viola. What's well, the opinion? I wish there was more dialogue. And a more I, a dialogue option to stand up for BD at Stow on side. Do witnessing Rose telling the final stars or it was urgent. I don't know. I, I think he kind of deserved to get called out there. But he literally bulldozed a priceless historic thing right there. He kind of did deserve to get called out for that. Marnie 3, BD 5. We've had Marnie three times? Wow. 
it really doesn't feel like you only fight her three times. But I think that could be because, like, she shows up a lot more. It was a fake mural. The thing is, they didn't know it was fake. Again, it's the principle. You, you can't have... See, the thing is, that means you're very results-driven. When you really think about it, Buddy did go and bust down a historic thing. We're taking the fall for BD, because I hate the stupid mural. I don't disagree, it was ugly. It was ugly. But again, in context, they thought it was a historic thing. And you can't just destroy history because you don't like it. You know, we, we may not like history, but even history we don't like should be preserved. Ed, 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 ed. Grant again, I'm not I'm I'm not a results oriented person, because I mean even though yes it did actually reveal the true thing, it, it was kind of something that was not you know again, we, we can't just go bulldozing stuff because they're ugly. We can't just bulldoze murals in historic monuments because we don't like them. Because that sets a bad precedent. I mean, because then by that logic, someone could say, well, we just, well, we bulldoze these monuments because we think they are ugly. Again, that sets a bit of a bad precedent. Deserve to be rammed. BD is a good boy. I don't know. I mean, I like BD after. I like BD after his personality I I like BD after his whole per, his mood a readjustment cuz I don't like rivals better or decks that's why I don't like blue I I like when he was like okay I got I got to get better you you actually like I like that he acknowledges you beat him I like that What for Marnie if you count her gym team after the main game Yeah I would say that the gym team does kind of count as a rematch does he have a different team when you face when the Glorian Star Tournament? Or not the Glorian Star, in the, uh, the tournament rematch? Whoa, 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 what? Perhaps the future champion stuff is all just a dream on my end. Correct, because we have plot armor. We have literally anime plot armor, ladies and gentlemen. We have the power... I mean, well, because this isn't Legend Arceus, because... My, my favorite joke to say with Legends Arceus is we have the power of God and anime on our side, because that game literally does look kind of like anime. And we literally have our Arceus on our side, so we, again, literally have the power of God and anime on our side in that game. Just seeing kind of better game. The joke aside, he did feel terrible for the mural thing. He also was dialoguing the Alabama for it. Yes. But again, in, in the moment, that is a bit of a different thing. No team. It is? Are the levels identical? I mean, the Pokemon on the team can be the same, but, like, their levels and moves could be changed. But again, I also haven't, like, studied Gala. Ever since I finished the difficulty analysis series, like, two years ago, I honestly haven't thought about Galar. Well, beyond Apricorn Collecting, I mean, that game was great for Apricorn Collecting. Love collecting Apricorns. Interesting. Fascinating. Burger on Rage. This should one-shot you, because there's no way you have 40 health by this point. Yeah, that's fine. 40 health going. Now, actually, wait. You're going to be... Your Pancham's going to be fairly good for Grant. Yeah, Pancham should be fairly good for the Grant fight. Okay, that's not a hidden item. I would have expected that to be a hidden item. But no, that was not. Okay, this is... Okay, there's a, there's a, a pathway over there, but we're not going to go deal with that. Oh, look at that, as we was. Love change just move that same. Okay. Interesting. Fair enough. Not everyone likes people that are jerks, but those are mean, but don't see why. I don't believe it. I like the BD first. Yeah, like, like, I like BD's character art. 
I don't like where his characterization is at the Starks again. I don't I don't like rivals a lot like Blue. I, I don't like rivals who their whole point is just to be a dickhead. Cause I I just don't I don't know. I, I, I don't like it when rivals exist just to be like a dickhead. I mean I know that they're supposed to be highly face punchable. You know, that that's I mean obviously like Hop is extremely face punchable. I'm I'm okay with Hop being an idiot, cause again, highly face punchable. But I do like BD's character arc, cause like that that's what we need when it comes to more Pokemon. It is we need characters to go through character arcs. I think they should have made it more clear why he had so many issues. People who don't understand the trainer card especially wouldn't. Did. Yeah. Again, they could have done a lot more with the story for uh, Sword and Shield. They they could have definitely done a lot more for it. Cause there's a lot of good ideas at play with the story of Sword and Shield. They just didn't do story. To, like I love that everyone talks up Leon like he's the greatest thing in the world, and he's just a goofball. Like, he, like, I, I like that they, for lack of a better term, humanize the champion, as opposed to, as, when you interact with him, like, personally, because the characters in the games talk up, you know, the champion, they talk up all the other characters, like, all oh, these unstoppable, impossible things, and they, they talk Leon up like crazy, and then, you know, you get him, and he's just a goofball. Like, Leon is, by no stretch of the definition, a dumbass. But that's the best part. He's a dumbass. He's a highly entertaining dumbass. Which is exactly what I like in a character where they're not this, you know, this this monolith. They're, you know, again, he's just a great, he's a, he's a great a dumbass. Leon is a himbo. <laughs> okay, what the heck is a himbo? I've heard that term. What does it mean? Someone please define himbo. Pick. I require definition. Actually, no, probably, actually I just go for water moves because they actually do more damage with the water moves because of the rain. Oh, that's fine, critical. That, that, that critical, it mattered. Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Good, we gotta level up. Hey, Skidoo! Who knows? Who knows? That may be another member of the team. Who quite possibly knows? Mold Breaker! It breaks the mold! Listen, Temper, I don't know what words mean. I don't know words. This is a known skill issue that I possess. And again, Durga Run Rage does more damage. Yeah, fair enough about BD. I, I don't like Hop. I want to punch with the. Oh, I agree, Lollipop. Hop is a highly punchable face. Hop is extremely face punchable. I also realize that Hop sort of a jerk, too, when I played the most recently. Yeah! He is, like, Hop is, Hop is a bit of, like, a passive dickhead. Hop is a passive dickhead. Again, highly face punchable. Deservedly face punchable. Hi, Legly. I'm Bo Pormanto of the masculine pronoun him and bimbo. A slang term for sexually attractive, sexualized, naive, and unintelligent men. <laughs> I mean, I can see the unintelligent, naive part. Do people really find Leon hot? Now, there, there is another Leon that I can definitely understand if that, you know, Leon Kennedy. But, I mean, that's a whole different... That that's a, that's a different Leon altogether. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, Mr. Mash. Hello there, Orange. You're horrible. I have a cord. 
cold suck. Cold's cold. Again, if you can't tell, I've been watching a lot of Resident Evil stuff off screen. And no nothing epitomizes that more than when I eventually play uh, Resident Evil, I'm fairly certain I know which Resident Evil is going to be the first one that I play, Resident Evil Village. Because after all, big woman good. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, well, you'll find out when we eventually get to playing it. Damn it. I know, I just realized when I played special the whole time, I mean, hop me. Yeah, hop is, again, hop is extremely face punchable. Hop is incredibly face punchable. I mean, I didn't like hop, but I did. Yeah. Yeah, I. That's one thing that was like. How, that, that's why when people compare him to How, it kind of like How is How is just a nice guy. How just wants to vibe. He's there. He just wants to have fun. How is good bean? How is the kind of person we should all aspire to be like? Hop, highly punchable face, incredibly punchable face. Exceptionally punchable face. BD was not wrong to call Hop Up Raggedy. Yeah. Yeah. Again, like, see, moments like that, like, yeah, no, ha uh, BD was entirely justified with that. 300 DA check down next workout. Oh my gosh. You do have the shiny charm, right, Lexi? Cause like that that's a lot of checks and not getting a shiny. Granted, I went over seven I went almost seven hundred for Ho Ho before getting it. I know people felt sorry for Hop, but I didn't. I like how exactly how based how characterization. Like, like how just wants to have fun. How does not care about winning or losing. He just wants to have fun and have a good time with people. That is the ideal of how things should be. Man is the most pure bean imaginable. Do you know where Skidoo is? I know vaguely where Skidoo is. I have been phasing. Ah, I mean, we've phased, I think, nine times on Latias. So I, I feel you on that. Because Hop is trying to basically rub in the fact that BD lost the player, yet Hop never battled BD, nor has he ever been able to beat the player himself. Like having a friend to beat BD, you could dodge flex on Hop, yes. Yeah, I mean, Hop, Hop is... Hop is the definition of walking skill issue. Hop is the definition of a new skill issue. Okie dokie. Don't you mean okie dokie? We can't, we can't fight it. 30 months of you five. That's super proud Hello there, floor head. Can one of the mods go grab Ash's link? Hello there, floor head. The dear friend. So, um, Ash, it's a good thing you weren't here earlier. The first thing we smited on stream today was a Pikachu. It's always fun to destroy Pikachu. Because after all, it is nothing but simple cannon fodder. Hey, Timmy B! Welcome to the tier of Metal Machine! Hop 50 or 100% knife all the time. Hello there, forehead. You are, the fo you are indeed the forehead. Yes, Ash. Yes. Because it is a Pikachu. It deserves oblivion. As all Pikachu shall be sent to. All Pikachu shall be destroyed. Wah, wah. It happens to all of us. Hello there, neighbor. 
Oh, uh, look, it is the second most face punchable rival after Hop. I like Nimona as a rival. I actually do like Nimona as a rival. Because, like, one, I've been in that position Nimona has been, and was like, oh, you're someone who can actually challenge me when it comes to battling. I want to fight you more. I actually like that. That is actually very relatable. As opposed to, like, I mean, Hop, Hop, Hop kind of, like, literally simps for his own brother. Oh, oh what, what, uh, Starfall, you're going to need to clarify what the weird thing you heard after joining was. You're, you're going to need to context. Because there's a lot of weird things that get said on this channel. You're, you, you need to explain a little bit. Gary is tough because he wants you to get better. I always found Gary to be a joke. Pikachu is about to fight his way through the underworld. I don't know how Pikachu can fight his way through the underworld. There are no clouds to summon lightning from. Even more especially since it took an entire sandwich for you to get a good outbreak. At least BD was sipped for Rose. I mean, to be like, Rose legitimately like saved him. Like, I'm, like, wasn't B, like, an orphan? Like, he was, like, an, an orphan, like, parentally abandoned. How is it, pal? You look way too... It, it is exactly, like... It's, it's okay to have someone you look up to, but it is another thing when you look up to them that much. Hello there, star. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, we can't do anything here. Ah, there we go. The Science Laboratory! Didn't know you watched the channel. There are many people who watch the channel. And again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. For more, ladies and gentlemen, Rose visited an orphanage and gave him a Pokemon and a gold watch he wears. It's like a wholesome version of Seto Kaiba's origin story. Which, by the way, I really want to get back to rewatching Yu-Gi-Oh! at some point, because that show's awesome. God, Yu-Gi-Oh! This goes way too hard. So again, this is one thing that I've mentioned before a couple of times, but this is one of the several parts of the game that literally reuses Generation 1's story. Like, th th this is literally a carbon copy of Gen 1's story. Because th this entire part of the story is literally a carbon copy ripoff. Of the part in the game where you need to go into Mount Moon. And everyone says Gen 5 was a copy of Gen 1 when this game was the actual copy of Gen 1 the whole time. But no one minds. Because you get a candle starter right at the beginning. No one has any issues with it. You smell that? That's hypocrisy right there. Meals up to Rose. I'm pretty sure he just wants to impress him. Yes. Yeah, BD just wants to impress... Well, I, I think it's less... He wants to impress him. And he wants to live up to what he believes are both Rose's expectations, but also he wants to just... He wants to live up to what he believes Chairman Rose's expectations for him are, and to make him proud. You know, it's... it's it's not a healthy outlook, but it's an outlook that does make sense. I like the ice of your lose. Ah, yes, everyone loves Melanie. Ruby was the best Pokemon game. I've actually never played uh, Ruby. I played Omega Ruby. Do, 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 do. Yeah, my, uh, my Omega Ruby version actually came a few days ago. Physical copy. All in all. Bonk. 
break it out. Rah, it's bead. Bead D. Ah. I, I mean, I've lived while doing saying bead and beady. I can never remember which way it actually is. Most least, I don't care. He's like Kiram, Kyram, Raiko, Reiku. BD. Oh, wait, we can't run away. Or Bito. Bito. BD looks up to Rose if he was a father, I'd say. Yes. Yeah, again, I think it's a bit more than that because, again, it's your know, adopted father. You know, again, Chairman Rose literally saved Bede's life. So, you you generally look up to someone like that in a bit, you know, a bit of a way. And again, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. More. Hello there, cat. I have both Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, off and shiny on them. Yeah, I'm at some point going to be doing that. Guy Rados. Guy Rados. Wait, do you say Gyrados or Gyrados? Because one of them is correct. I mean, one of them is, is, is more correct than the others. Gyrados. Gyrados? I, I would occasionally intentionally just say Gyrados. Because I had a friend who's, like, their username was... Well, the, their, their username was, you know name dose and the joke i would always make is if you had a brother would his name be gyarados if, if you had a, if you had a brother whose name was gary would his name be gyarados and it it, it annoyed him because again it, it's stupid puns gyarados gyarados what 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 why gyarados Gary Gary or Gary Do Gary Oak. No, Gary Dose. Mudkip, what is it? What what is the whelp, Mudkip? What are the splat fest results? Actually, I can know we we destroy the Q-bone. We destroy the Q-bone. You can get a shiny in like a week I'll make a ruby and sapphire with a dex nav yeah I love dex naving like the dex nav was such a great system like I love it because I like getting egg moves on my Pokemon in my story playthroughs because in my alpha sapphire version I spent so also thank you very much whoever subscribed I spent so long Trying to go for, in my story playthrough of Alpha Sapphire, a Rockhead Aeron that had Head Smash. Because Head Smash is an egg move. And you may be wondering, why, why would you want Head Smash on it? Because of Rockhead. Rockhead, complete immunity to all recoil moves. Head Smash, 150 base power rock type move. That is what we like to call cooking with gas. Right there. That was fun. I remember in time, so stressful. I've gone from the inner workers of Bede's mind to Gary Dos. Gary Dos? I love Gyarados. Absolutely fantastic Pokemon. I just think it's neat. Which, they, which says a lot, because there's not really a whole lot of Generation 1 Pokemon that I like, but I really like Gyarados. Like it, it is it is very much stood the test of time. I really hate this cave. I can never remember what the actual path thing to go through this cave is. Hello there, Raihorn. Hello there. I will never understand why this thing doesn't get Rockhead as an ability. Or, like, it doesn't get head smash. Jump. Oh my gosh, you're doing no damage! Also, when I say Gary Gary, I was making a Pokemon anime joke. This MF doesn't like Eevee. I don't dislike Eevee. 
I just get sick and tired of seeing it. But, you know, we're actually going to be using Eevee on our team. Because, I, well, I mean, we're going to be using Sylveon. Oh, no, what have you sent, Mudkip? I'm scared now. Hey, we won! We won Splatfest! How much did we win by? How, how much victory was it by? Deal's a deal. All right. All right, so... So I, I'm watching One Piece then, correct? Yes, I'm watching One Piece, because that or Cookie Run. Oh, Lunatone! Hello there, Moonrock. The cheerleader simps called Gary, Mr. Gary, which apparently was his grandson or whatever. Yes, he is. Mr. Gary. You're a mean one, Mr. Gary. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no. Well, let's see. Keyboard wins! Wow! We absolutely demolished them. We ab we we went absolutely slayer on them. We didn't we we barely lost conch shells. Yeah, I mean that yeah, was a fairly even matchup. Drum uh, guitar is fair enough. But we won an open. We won in pro and we won in tricolor. I mean, I I will say I, let's we thank Jade for playing. We we thank Jade for being the one to carry us in tricolor because I never play tricolor. All right, Mudkip. So how many episodes of One Piece are there? How how many episodes are there? I still imagine that Gary just pays the cheerleaders because it's more fun to imagine it that way. Because again. Cause gears were like like ten canonically, I think. No, Draconic is not learning a smoke screen. Oh no, Sly Guy is not learning smoke screen. Huh, need a smoke bomb. Episode one. They, they yeah they they were in several episodes. There were several episodes the cheerleaders appeared in. Again, I, I choose to imagine Gary just paid off the cheerleaders to follow him everywhere. Remember seeing the people go inside the limo in the Diglett episode? Diglett dig, 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 dig. I vaguely remember that Diglett episode. Vaguely. I, I absolutely hate. Whoever thought of this cave should be tried in a court and have their head bashed open with a freaking baton. I have recently set a challenge for myself to have a full team of shinies and Omega Ruby and recently finished getting my last member, so now being a darn manatan. Fun. I hate they live, but that one was very cute. Again, whoever thought of this idea for this gimmick dungeon, they they deserve to have their head bashed in. Because this is this is an this is an infuriating thing. Cause the Pokemon will respawn if you go in or out. So you need to fight, I think, like eight Pokemon at the junctions in here. So you you can't just basically run straight through. Leave. Leave the cave. I didn't specify. Did not specify. Specifications, you could say. Do, 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 do. Hello there, first time boss. How are you doing? The gang guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget. To oh, there we go. Now it's the, there's nothing here. Maybe it's random. The scene with the diggle it's a dig 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 dig. Ah uh, no, this is not a Nuzlocke. 
Though I do have a Nuzlocke series plan in the works. So that... That is in the works, however. And then we get to the end of this and then we just turn this way. Okay, thing. Is, uh, let's go do that. This is not... Trio, trio, trio. Duck, 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 trio. Yeah, duck, trio at time. Like, I will never understand why... I, I will never understand why it was that they made a lowland duck trio have lower speed than a regular duck trio. Hey, we're getting raided. Welcome in. Who is this? Sage. Oh, this Savage Sage. A welcome in... N Nysa? I, I please let me know why I'm spending that. Hello there, Russ Myers. Hello there, Savage Sage. It was Savage Sage. Hello there, Kristine. Please let me know if I'm saying that right. Am I the only one that wants a Mega Doug Trio in Legend Zia with the 100? See, that would be hilarious, Mr. Mash. That would be absolutely hilarious. I would love that. All right. I'll come on the mods. Please go grab Savage Sage's Link plays. The wig is not heavy. They're literally strings of volcanic glass. Uh, what were you streaming today, Savage Sage? And how well did it go? I hope it went well. Hope so, at least. And thank you very much, whoever subscribed. We are trying to get to 7k by the end of the year. So every single one of you absolute gigachads make that possible. I like the name Lilasa Butterplace. I have never heard of that name before. Then again, I'm a smooth brain, so there is that. Um, let me go grab your name, your, your Link Savage. Um, wait, wait. Can you not- You can't open up the freaking open channel? What? Why can I not open that up in control panel? That's so stupid. Um, I need one of the mods- Can one of the mods go grab Savage Sage's Link, please? Oh, Alyssa. Nissa. Okay, thank you. There we go. We got out of the cave. Uh, come on, the mods go grab Savage Sage's Link, please. It's all theory that Pokemon... On Pokemon... Yeah, po Pokemon speed stat is entirely BS. That That is one thing. Because like, I, I do a lot of competitive Pokemon. The one thing I have found in all of my years of competitive Pokemon is the speed stat is entirely bull. Uh, let me go grab your link, Sage. This is gonna take a little bit of time, a little finagling. The coal is gone, one by one, bit by bit. You kid, you know to play with fire? No. Get my fancy suit dirty and stylish. Houndo. Let's go beat this thing. Let's go fight. See, you're making me fight a doggo. You are absolute scum. Hello there, Cotton Draco. Thank you, very much. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Omar. I know I can rely on you. Also, friendly reminder to everyone. Godzilla Kong, the new empire, comes out in a few days. I'm looking forward to that. Which means on Thursday, we are not going to have our stream at our usually scheduled time. I mean, I love Vega Ball. It's a great Pokemon on Trick Room teams. Full team is first caught. Uh, the shiny. God of War, Lanoon, Electrode, Velasum, Pelipper, and Damanathan. Fun. Thank you. Lubert. Uh, sweet Pokemon. But yes, uh, Godzilla, Kong, the New Empire is coming out this Thursday where I am, the 28th. And my time of going for the showing is going to be at 5.30. So, a nighttime stream is either possible or we're going to do a stream early on in the day. I haven't decided yet. Um, I've actually never seen any Ghostbusters movie. Like, the only thing I know about the first Ghostbusters is Sigourney Weaver is in it. And I only know that because I love the Alien movies. And it doesn't matter what series Sigourney Weaver is in. Every time she's in a movie, her character is always Ripley. I don't care. In Avatar, the blue people one, she's Ripley. In, in Ghostbusters, she's Ripley. In 
and anything. She's always Ripley. Hi, Sleepy. I'm Maxis. Is there no Pokemon? You, do you yeah, encounter a Pokemon in here? We're gonna take it. We can. We can. It'll be good. We want. You Team Flare goons have highly punchable faces. See, you're talking a lot of smack, Team Flare, for someone in face punching range. I've heard good things about them. Um, I, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where I've never seen them before, so I'm kind of almost a little bit worried about getting like starting to watch for the first time. One thing you should know about Ghostbusters as a ghost. I didn't know. This. I I wouldn't have known Ghostbusters had ghosts in it i would i did not know that you know that, that's almost as much of a shocker as a godzilla movie having godzilla in it team flare do look like pencils also fun fact to everyone um i don't know if you keep up on news about movies but um, if you have ever seen the 2014 Godzilla movie that was directed by Gareth Edwards, apparently the director for the new Jurassic Park movie is Gareth Edwards. So we've got the guy who made Godzilla, you know, the guy that made Godzilla awesome again, is now making a Jurassic Park movie. I'm happy. Cause like that that that's a guy who knows how to make a movie. I'm I'm looking forward to that, but did you know Pokemon has wait for it? People. I did not know that. Temper, what the hell did you send me? Temper, that thing deserves to be thrown into the fires and burnt. That thing does not belong on this planet. Go back to whatever bowels of hell that thing crawled out of. That is just wrong. That should not exist. Temper, you have committed crimes by sending that. That, 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 is, that is a crime, what you have just sent. Oh my gosh, you're not even two-shotting things. Oh my gosh. I finally got revenge. Who's telling dad jokes now? Still me. We always tell dad jokes here. You know why dad jokes are the best kind of jokes? You're correct. At least you didn't make it. You just spread it. You, you just infect other people with that curse knowledge. Again, we, 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 okay, we will never stop with the dad jokes. The dad jokes here will never end. The dad jokes will literally never end. Okay, good, another level. Oh no, yeah, we lose. Team Flare has highly playable faces. Okay, help someone now. I, I, I don't trust you. I don't trust you, Temper. Surprise! I didn't know you were telling dad jokes. Wow. Yes! I love dad jokes! They are what sustain me! Yes! Wholesome Tyranitar! Very wholesome Tyranitar! Left hand and tired. They've actually got the 2014 Godzilla figure. I'm gonna go grab it. I, I, this. I, I, I love this. Because this, this looks like Tyrant. I love it. Like, I, I love the classic Godzilla design. Like, the classic Godzilla look is a fantastic design. But I do love Legendary Pictures updated design. Which also, fun fact, this is something that I just absolutely love. Um, when they redesigned 
Godzilla for Godzilla King of the Monsters. All they did was they took, like, the CGI rigging template model of Godzilla from the Godzilla 2014 movie, removed the dorsal spines, and then just superimposed a 3D, like, graphical rendering of the original Godzilla's uh, spines on it. And, like, you know what? They just bring with that. I love it. Love it. I said, who's telling dad jokes now? Me. We always tell dad jokes. Hello, that pro game players. This is Bob. Bob has no arms. Knock, knock. Who's there? Bob, the head hurt from banging his head on the door for so long. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, star. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Mr. Mr. Don't, don't start with the jokes like that, because I, I will not stop with the jokes like that, because I have a series of dark jokes that follow that formula. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies, mother trucker. Supplies. No, Bob is what you call the guy with no arms that's in the water. Matt's the guy with no arms and no legs that's in front of the door. <laughs> ah. Dark jokes. See, see, I see. There, there are two kinds of dark jokes that we do around here. There, there are two kinds. There, there is the dark jokes I am not allowed to say because my lawyer has informed me I am not allowed to finish that sentence, and then the dark jokes that are just dark enough I can get away with it. Excuse me, princess. Yes? Yes, Starfall? Do, 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 do. Excuse. There's dark and there's funny, and then there's dark. Yeah, there's dark, funny, and then there's dark. Hello there, Amugus. It is Amagamagubus. Hello there. Oh my gosh, how long until we get out of this stupid place? There's the cave. I hate this cave. I absolutely hate this freaking cave. Hello there, Alex, how do you do? Hello there, Max, that's the way to someone I don't know nothing about. No, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, the same thing happens with me in a lot of times. I feel that. Why do they hack Ceres used pound on Dialga? That's all I could say. Okay. I don't think I want to know. I'm actually getting ready for bed. Have a good night, Alex. But thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We don't need to worry. And again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like on the stream. I have a few minutes before I go to bed. Go up the same way going through that cave today. I hate this cave. It's it's absolutely infuriating. Like, because you can't even use repels. You can't even just... Again, whoever came up with this idea... They deserve to have their head smashed with a baton. Like, just, just, just grab a giant stick and just wham! Sometimes you should not tell others about your dreams. Eh, a bit, bit harsh. But, potential. Oh, I hate this cave. Do, 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 do. There we go, there's the end. Okay. I know there's an escape rope at the end, so we just gotta get to the last battle and then we're good. Avoid the sneak trap. Ah, yes, double battle time. He deserves Bob's fate. They deserve Bob's fate, correct. 
Or even people like you. At least they have it on a cable like that. So yeah. Like, they, they learned. Which, I mean... It's, it's a good thing they learned, but they never should have done it in the first place. Amber breaks the mold. We do a little break into the mold here. Why are you using light screen against two Pokemon that are physical attackers? Especially when one of them is quad weak to psychic. And it's best when one of them uses Brick Break. You're you're a bot, Serena. Serena, this is why we don't like you. First, you kill our Gastrodon. Then, you just completely throw. This is why we don't like you. Don't be mad. Just be better. This is why you have a highly punchable face, Serena. But yeah, for those who don't know... Uh, when we did our first ever sleep lock on the channel, the X sleep lock, Serena threw because she used a freaking wheezing. And that wheezing decided to use explosion in a multi battle, which a multi battle is what we're fighting right now. And, and Serena's use of explosion game-ended our beloved Gastrodon. The one that carried the team. The legend. The heart of the team. This, this is why we don't like Serena. Serena is the opposite of a, a, a friend. She is, the, she is an enemy. Oh my god! Serena, you're a bot! Serena, you are less useful than Martin! Martin and his Soul Rock are more useful than you! And that's just impressive! Because Martin's useless! So nice, daughter! And then she immediately goes another light screen. Yeah, she's an idiot! Again, Serena's a bot. Serena is why we can't have nice things. Serena deserves to be defenestrated. Those who don't know what defenestrate means, it means thrown out of a window. And not, not just from any window. Thrown out of a window that is several stories up. You deserve defenestration. And you don't even heal us. Yeah, protecting my partners is what I always do. You stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. I hate you. I, I, I just, I detest you. There are few characters in games that I hate. You are one of them. Also a purifier, but purifier's psycho. Throws up. All the way back out, cause we need. You know, you know what? I don't. You know what? Screw it. I don't. I don't care. I'm. I'm not spending. I feel like, like an hour in this cave. You know what? If we get into another fight, we get into another fight. It's fine. If we get into a fight. It's. It's. It's fine. I don't think we get. There's one more fight I know there is. Oh, it's a wild. Okay, wild encounter is fine. See, I, I can't hurt Subet because Subet is a Unova Pokemon. We like Unova here. We like Unova. Only good Unova moments here. Okay, now we are going to leave then. Now we need to heal. We got away safely. Cause like the thing, the worst part is we need to get that Pancham levels up. Like if it was Frogadier or it was Charmeleon, I'd be okay with them being knocked out. Cause like they're already high leveled, but we need Pancham to be decently leveled. 
purely because it's going to be the only thing we can use against freaking Grant. There's still different Pokemon here we haven't encountered yet. There's so many Pokemon in this damn cave. Oh my god, you have Sturdy. Oh my god, you have Sturdy! At least we avoided it. Serena, this is why we hate you. You you should be this is why you are the second most face punchable rival, only surpassed by Hop. At, at least Hop doesn't try to be helpful and fail. You just fail all you just fail 24-7, Serena. You're just literally a string of failure. I'll be back in a second. We require more water. I've at times debated whether or not I should get, like, several water bottles filled up and then just grab them as, like, like, I, I've debated getting, like, you know, those giant, like, packs of water bottles and just filling up a bunch of those over and over and over again. So I have, like, you know, 17 water bottles literally right in front of me for a stream so I don't need to get up. Because, like, we, we drink a lot of water on this, you know, because hydrating is important. Water is good. Remember to say hydrate, y'all. You get hydrate or dehydrate. Hydrate will only outlive your enemies. But he had no arms. He used doors to put a fight against the enemies with no arms. He used doors to put a fight against the enemies with no arms. Get away from safety. Run away! We are run away! We are running away. There we go. Okay. I think we have spent an hour in this stupid cave. You know, we have spent... Okay, not an hour. We've spent like 45 minutes in this stupid cave. Okay. Now we go back into the damn cave. Damn. Go back into the damn cave. We try this again. We run away. Run away. Run away like a scared little pansy man. Pansy cham. Yeah, I, I wish you could like walk and then you wouldn't encounter these things. But I feel like it just it's pure randomness every time. Yeah, meow. It breaks the mold. I'm gonna break your face. I'm gonna break that bone head right off your skull. Well, then again, that bone literally is your skull. Well, not your skull, it's another skull. Use door! Sadly, we cannot use the door. There is no door. There is no door to bypass this dungeon. It would be helpful, but sadly, we can't. How the freak is Onyx faster than you? I have several questions! I mean, Onyx is weirdly fast. O Onyx is a, a weirdly... Yeah, it's a weirdly fast rock type. Okay, just, 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 just chop its face. Oh my god. Well, then again, that's like, what, 200 defense? No, 180 defense? Rage! Rage! Let's chop to it. Okay, good. You just stole that. That does absolutely no damage to me. That's fine. I'm entirely okay with this. I'm entirely okay with this, you stupid rock. 
See, I like rocks, but I don't like Onyx, because Onyx is Gen 1. We are anti-Gen 1 stands here. This should be... The last... There we go. It's a palette cleanser. Oh, I know the palette cleanser was the dad jokes. Palette cleanser of dad jokes. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's any more battles in here, but just to be safe. Yep, there was literally no need to go do that. There was literally zero... Oh, wait, no, do you have to fight them? Did you find them? Yeah! Are you using the fossils? Do you play here? 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 No, no, no. You believe you're looking for fossils. Do you look like a lady? 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 Do you look can ultimate give us a dark joke? Not dark, just dark joke. Uh, no clue. Um, I'm tr I am try to refrain, because generally for me there's like a, a thin line between them. You stupid bitch. I hate you. I absolutely hate you. You, I... You are one of my least favorite NPCs, Serena. I hope you know that. I absolutely- I, I hate you with the white hot intensity of a thousand suns. I hope you know and understand that, Serena. When we fight later in the game, I am not going to just defeat you. I am going to absolutely eviscerate your team. Your team deserves to be eviscerated. They, they they need to be put out of your out of their misery. No no no. Onward, my trusty steed. Go, go forward, bonehead, and bash your face into rocks. I like Sandile. If she asks you for something, you should give her poison. No more for me. I would, I would love to have that be an option. If there was a poison Serena option, you bet I would take that as an op as a, as an out. So I do not need to deal with her ever again. Boop. There we go. Okay, now we're done. So now we should be on the way to be able to get... Yes, now I think we can get Eevee. And I think we actually need to go into the fossil laboratory. The laboratory for plot relevant things. You were thinking of the tournament, there was a thanks. Ooh, Adactylite. It's that Adactylite, you can't even use it. Completely forgot, we also found one digging up fossil. Do you know the Pokemon that Adactyl can be solved in old amber? Somebody found old amber when you break a rock with a rock smash. No, I don't want to do Wonder Trades. I'm pretty sure Wonder was discontinued. I mean, there's also an emulator files so where they can't even do Wonder Trades anyway. The Embrot Aquarium. It's an aquarium. It does aquarium things. Route 8. Okay, so now we're moving onwards and upwards in the world. There's a dowsing machine for you! I will have to find some treasures. We obtained the dowsing machine! The dowsing machine! Was it better items? 
Final treasures, the odds are dead red. Did your trivia called the Dowsers? Wowzers! There are some Dowsers. Normally I find that. Uh, normally I seem like a brick, but when I'm with a Pokemon, this one means no problem at all. For a brick, he flew pretty good. Someday I will play Halo. Someday we will play Halo. We have nothing good for this thing. I just realized that. Cause like you body me, cause like, well then again in in terms of pure typing, but then again we have we're gonna have ways of dealing with you. <laughs> Come punch! Oh my gosh, you're so weak. You're so weak. You're so weak. I I I did not realize how long this was actually going to take to get to do all this. Like this game's second gym is one of the furthest into the game you need to get. I, I, actually, I think that this is the latest second gym of any Pokemon game. I thought we were going to, at the very least, get to the Tower of Mastery. Nope. I, f I completely forgot how like stupid that like derailing side quest is that you need to go on. But we are going to go look for somebody to go raid, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go find someone to raid. Who do we go raid? You know what, this is, actually, this is a new person. That is a, a new creator that we raided. Well, that Pink raided yesterday. That's why I'm gonna go send the love to. So we're gonna go raid them. Also, they have a mod in their thing named Allosaurus, the greatest of all dinosaurs. So I want to support that. We support the Allosaurus here. Allosaurus is the best dinosaur. Yeah, they're they're doing some shiny hunting in Legends Abacus. Legends Abacus. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, no, we're gonna end off after this battle. I, I cannot believe how long this game actually is to get going. We could actually be more. Should be. But then, no, 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 no. Again, freaking water moves are my strongest moves because the rain is up. My, my, yeah, my water moves are my best options because of the rain. I'm stupid. And now, well now I mean, um, torrents activated, so that's just a better thing to go. <sighs> Get water blasted! Get water blasted! Up. Uh, what the heck? Um. YouTube, do YouTube-y things. There we go. That, that. Okay, yeah, you know what? Okay. St stuff is now starting to start breaking down. Maybe this is a good spot we end off here. Everything is just starting to break. We're gonna go raid somebody new today. Something that we have never raided before. Because they are a new creator. I will see you guys next time. The goal. Have a good night, everybody. You take care as well. And again, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you tomorrow.